This is part 12 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the use of from body and from URI attributes. We use this put method that we have within our employees controller to update employee details. Let's issue a put request from Fiddler. Notice the ID of the employee that we want to update is in the URI and the employee data with which we want to update is in request body. Let's execute this. Request completed. Now let's quickly verify if the employee details are updated. Notice employee record with ID equals 1 is updated as expected. At the moment, the ID of the employee that we want to update is in the URI as part of route data. Now let's use a query string parameter to specify the ID of the employee instead. So I'm going to delete the ID from route data and then use a question mark to indicate that you know we are including a query string parameter. The name of the query string parameter is ID and the value for this is going to be 1. And let's change first name to mark2, last name to Hastings2 and salary to 75,000. Let's execute this request. Completed. Let's quickly verify. The record is updated. Now, when a request is issued, the data that we have in this request needs to be mapped to the parameters of this put method within our employees controller. So the ID of the employee that we have in the URI, either as part of route data or as part of a query string parameter, that needs to be mapped to the ID parameter of this put method and the employee data that we have in the request body, this needs to be mapped to the employee parameter of this put method. This process is called parameter binding and there is a default convention that Web API uses for parameter binding. Let's understand that default convention now. By default, if the parameter is a simple type like integer, boolean, double, etc., Web API tries to get the value from the URI, that is, either from route data or from query string parameters. On the other hand, if the parameter is a complex type like customer, product, employee, etc., Web API tries to get the value from the request body. This is the default convention. We can change this default parameter binding process by using from body and from URI attributes. Notice the ID parameter, which is a simple type, that is integer, is decorated with from body attribute here. So this is going to force Web API to get data for the ID parameter, which is a simple type, from the request body. The employee type here, which is a complex type, this is decorated with from URI attribute. So this is going to force Web API to get data for this employee type, which is a complex type, from the URI, that is either from query string parameters or from route data. Let's look at this in action now. At the moment, Web API is using its default parameter binding process. So it's going to look in the request URI for the value for the ID parameter, and it's going to look in the request body for the values for this employee parameter. At the moment, we have decorated this employee parameter with from body attribute, which is basically telling Web API to look in the request body for the data for this parameter. However, we know that by default, Web API is anyway going to look in the request body for complex type parameters. So the presence or absence of this attribute on this parameter is not going to make any difference. Even if we remove this attribute from this parameter, it's going to work exactly the same way as before. Now what we want to do is force Web API to read employee data from the request URI. To do that, I'm going to decorate the employee parameter with from URI attribute. Let's give our solution a build. Build succeeded. Now Web API is going to look in the request URI for values for both of these parameters, ID and employee. If you look at this employee class, it has got ID, first name, last name, gender, and salary properties. We will have to specify values for these properties in the request URI. Let's make use of query string parameters to do that. Let's flip to Fiddler now. 
notice at the moment we are already using a query string parameter to specify a value for ID now in addition to this let's use a few more query string parameters notice we have first name last name gender and salary query string parameters the names of these parameters must match the names of the properties that we have on the employee class now since we have specified the data for the employee parameter in the request URI there is no need to include request body so I'm going to delete the request body now let's execute this request completed let's quickly verify if the employee record is updated notice the record is updated as expected at the moment web API is looking for the data for both of these parameters in the request URI now let's force web API to read the ID value from the request body and to do that we are going to decorate this parameter with from body attribute let's give our solution a build build succeeded now web API is going to look in the request body for this ID parameter value so let's specify ID in request body since we have specified it using the request body we don't have to include it in the URI web API is going to anyway ignore it so let's remove the ID parameter from the request URI and let's change first name to FN1, last name to LN1, and salary to 55,000. Let's execute. Request completed. Let's quickly verify if the data is updated. Notice employee record with ID equals 1 is updated as expected. So, what is the use of from body and from URI attributes? We use these attributes to tell Web API where to look in the request for parameter values. Thank you for listening and have a great day.